Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today uh, we're going to be looking at a pretty interesting Polish helmet. This is a standard WZ-67 helmet that was issued to the Polish Naval Infantry. And these are sort of their version of the Marines. They're uh, infantry, they're, they're under the army control but they wear uh, gray helmets like the navy does and the difference being that they have the polish eagle here on the front whereas typically not always but typically uh, naval helmets will not have this symbol on the front of them so it's um, kind of shows you the the difference uh, this helmet is a standard wz 67 it's got your typical rivets with your screw on the top which holds your liner in place and it's got a little bit of an interesting um, eagle on it i couldn't exactly find out the exact difference that this means but it's got the square or part of partial square around your eagle so it's um a little bit of a mystery to me i've seen some similar ones haven't seen an exact one obviously if you collect polish military or you served with the polish military i would love to hear exactly what that means uh, the way you can tell that this is a naval infantry versus a typical naval helmet is the chin strap on a navy helmet it's going to be black this is the typical uh, raw leather color of the uh, army so that's going to be a naval infantry and then you've got your standard leather liner in here this one is kind of cool because it does actually have a fair amount of writing in it um, it's got a lot of this is repeated but this is actually f1 from Krosno, which is actually a major uh, area where a number of naval infantry and armored units were stationed at, as of the, at least the 1980s. And it's been a military, militarily significant place for quite some time. You also have, I'm not really sure what this says or means, but PM. And then it's got some uh, cursive underneath it, which almost looks... Uh, Cyrillic I really kind of hard to tell there but it's definitely something I'm not familiar enough with cursive Polish to be able to really decipher that and it, then it has the soldier's name uh, written here for Walashevsky in the liner so just a really cool uh, named helmet with a location of where the soldier was probably stationed written inside the liner as well and then a really nice manufacturer's stamp right here the hs is of course huda silesia which was a major factory for polish helmets and then a nice date of 1975 with some other information such as size and whatnot so 1975 dated helmet uh, this probably was surplused out in the mid to late 90s when a lot of these uh, units were disbanded and poland started going toward kevlar so these did come over to the united states they're a little bit hard to find these days you certainly can find uh, naval helmets you can find regular polish helmets but the naval infantry is is sort of a rare bird so i uh, hope you've enjoyed taking a look at it this one obviously has seen a little bit of use but it's been well cared for by its previous owner or owners um, nothing too bad just some field scuffs and whatnot no major dings or anything like that as always if you've got one or if you know more about these i'd love to have some missing information filled in so drop something in the comments and remember to like and subscribe thanks for watching